Sagittarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are having a lovely beginning of the year. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 8th through the 14th. What's going on with you? What's going on with around the proximity of this time between... Eighth to the fourteenth in your life, Sagittarius. Right. So, fuck, Sag, what's going on here? All right, it looks um interesting to say the least. All right, flat out, this is what I'm seeing here. I'm, I'm seeing you deal with a relationship from the past. Okay, I feel that in the recent past, you might have taken some sort of respite, taken a break from investing in a romantic endeavor. All right, so you closed off to this. I feel that you went into this paradigm of not being vulnerable, essentially. Not giving of your heart, not receiving from others. All right, however, despite this behavior, ladies and gentlemen, despite this thought pattern, I see that... There was this hope, all right? There's this desire for something, some some positive turnaround, okay? Now, what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, is that coming back around, all right? And let me tell you, although it may sound positive, which it is, it's not going to be easy. There's still things to be dealt with. There's still a lot of smog to clear in the air. All right. Nevertheless, you are aligning yourself with expressing some sort of benevolence toward an individual that is appearing as the Ace of Coins. All right. The Ace of Coins essentially is an opportunity being presented to you. It's something new, something, something coming about that is going to bring change. It's an opportunity for something new, but that's all it is. Simply an opportunity, right? It's like planting a seed. It's not a fucking tree yet. Is just a seed. It has a potential. It has a potential to fucking grow crooked or has a potential to go straight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that's all it is. That, and that's exactly what you're moving towards. Now, I'm seeing that this is... Let me see this. What is this? Shit, this magician. All right. Yeah, so you, you wanted this. So you, you, you wanted this, ladies and gentlemen. You, want, you wanted cooperation. You wanted... You wanted collaboration. You wanted, you know, just coming together... And building together, essentially. Cooperation is what I'm seeing here. Team effort. All right. And it seems as if you're getting your wish. Your wish is being granted. However, I am seeing stress here. I am seeing this energy, this frictional energy. It's all mental. Let me tell you. It's all mental, ladies and gentlemen. And, it's, and this is what I want to emphasize about this is that it's self-imposed, okay? It's self-imposed. No one's doing this to you. No one's doing anything but you. All right, so the friction that you're experiencing this week, Sag, is out of your own thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. And and I really get the sense that, that it's linked to a situation in which there was abandonment. I don't necessarily feel that it involves this opportunity that's presenting itself. I feel that you could be dealing with multiple situations here, okay? could be dealing with multiple situations. You could be getting over something from the past, all right? And something new is coming about. Now, this tumultuous energy of abandonment very much may be linked to the person that you're dealing with, or this can be someone completely new. I have yet to see, all right? However, that is what I'm seeing, okay? Due to some sort of conflict that you've dealt with from the past, there is a significant amount of stress that you are imposing upon yourself this week. And that is what I'm seeing here in the outcome. And for that reason, I am emphasizing it and I'm giving that attention, okay? Now, what is this tower that I'm seeing here? Right in the center. What is this tower? This is essentially a paradigm shift, ladies and gentlemen. This is a destruction of the old, an opportunity for regeneration of something new. Um, 
Uh, all right, this is what I'm also, this is what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be some sort of opportunity that's going to come swiftly out of nowhere. All right, there's going to be some sort of paradigm shift. You're going to be questioning your own self here, not necessarily yourself, but you're going to be deliberating decisions. In other words, okay, you're going to be faced with choices, choices that are going to be thought with pragmatism, essentially intelligence this isn't going to be anything hasty this isn't i feel that you're going to take your time with this i feel that you are going to give this thought and reason being is because this is something significant to you sag all right so significant that it involves stress i mean of course things that are important to us and things that we want to salvage and things that we're afraid of losing are valuable to us and, and that is why we feel the way we that's why we feel frictional about you know the contrary of of attaining what it is that we want because we want it that much you know what i mean now <clears throat> what is this energy of invulnerability that i'm seeing here sag despite the fact that you're aligning yourself with potential cultivation potential new opportunities within a matter there is a level of invulnerability that i am seeing Something that you may be holding on to is hindering your full-on expression. Yes, yes, yes. All right, look, this is what I'm seeing here, Sag. Whatever, the, whatever it is that Sagittarius went through is somewhat... It's like you're refraining from truly letting out everything that you have within you. That is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. Okay? But look... Scratch that. Scratch everything that I said, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I. Well, this, this is a clear message. Look, you're dealing with with someone. Look, this is an amazing opportunity. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, it, it, it seems promising, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this to the extended, and we're gonna bore into this individual in just a moment. However, I want to focus on you, Sage. What I am seeing here, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have a lot more in the gas tank to give. All right, but you're not. You're not for whatever reason. Okay, you're holding off on that. And this is because of something that you went through. There, it's like you adopted some sort of paradigm, some sort of mental pattern. And life is now presenting you. More so, life is fucking throwing you in the ringer to destroy that shit. Because what it is that you got going on isn't serving your highest good. And how crazy is this? What you got going on, Sagittarius, seems to be aligned with your highest good. This opportunity in love, ladies and gentlemen, is only going to cultivate you into a mature individual. Or rather, you may be mature. But what I mean is emotionally grounded, emotionally stable, emotionally mature, emotionally ripe. Is that right? Ripe? Anyways, ripe is when it's ready to eat, right? So, guys... This is what I'm seeing, guys. Fuck, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing, Sag. And, and what I'm going to tell you is to give the, this relationship, this connection that you got going on, the attention that it deserves, ladies and gentlemen. That is your advice. Give it the attention that it deserves. Put away any fears, any insecurities, any old past traumas you've been through or anything. Any, any, anything that conflicts cultivation of a prosperous relationship, eradicate it. Eradicate it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm telling you, this week is not going to be easy. But you got something good coming. You got, you're, you're, you're brewing something nice. You're brewing some serious growth within your own self that is only going to imbue the relationship that you're dealing with. But this isn't even about the relationship, Sagittarius. This isn't about the relationship that you're dealing with. I know this is a love reading, but you know what? What's important here is you, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what I'm seeing here. That is what I'm seeing here is the cultivation of yourself through this relationship. You know that people enter our lives to help us, to help us grow. We're, we're not out to find a soulmate so that we can fucking serve and, and protect and, you know, offer. No, we, we seek partners to learn from, to learn how to love ourselves. Amazing. Anyways, I'm going to take this to the extended. I'm going to take this to the extended. And I'm going to bore into this individual. What's going on with this individual? What, what, what energy surrounds their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions towards you? If this was your reading, Sag, I will see you there. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, 
I'm happy for you, whomever it is that I'm connecting with. Truly, I see growth. I see growth, and you know what? This growth is is growth comes from diff from difficulty, from challenges, ladies and gentlemen. You can't expect to be the best version of yourself by having an impeccable and flawless life. How can you expect to have a perfect life, problemless, and be the best version of yourselves? The best version of ourselves is familiar with the darkness of life, the hurts, the pains, the insecurities. And it's the surmounting, the conquering of those, of that darkness that cultivates the best version of ourselves. I'll see you around.